himself said, who else can say anything? Like, this is the bigger evidence, biggest evidence. It's like the mother gives birth to a baby. So in the same way. Ekadas is the mother of devotion. Just like in the heart of the mother, the mother feels so much affection, love for the children. So in the same way, Bhakti Devi. Bhakti Devi is also like that. So in many Puranas, explain many stories about Ekadashi. I will tell one story. One time. There was a devotee of Shiva. His name was Mur Deita. What name I said? Mur Deita. Demon Mur. Demon, demon. He was praying to Shiva. He wanted the benediction of immortality. I want to conquer the three worlds. Even Vishnu cannot kill me. I want this benediction that even Vishnu don't, cannot kill me. Now the demons, they want to be, stay alive for many, like unlimited, and also enjoy so much. The demons want this to stay alive a long time and to enjoy. The, so the materialist, Bishai, materialistic people, what do they want? They want to stay a long time in this world, alive and to be able to, to enjoy many different things. But the sadhu, what does the sadhu want? It's opposite. The sadhus want by the desire of lords as much time as I stay in this world, but by the desire of lords, may I do the Bhagavad Bhajan in this time. And by the desire of Lord, I will take birth and death by the desire of God. Understand? So the sadhus. Our Jiva Goswami says, Chiran Jivi Bhavo. That's why the Goswami says, the son of the king, what did he say? Raj Putra means prince, you may live long. Chiran Jivi Bhavo, live a long time. Oh, son of king, stay a long time in this world. Raj Putra Chiran Jivi Bhavo. Why? You did Punya from your previous lives, pious deeds, and because of that, now you're a prince and you have so many things to enjoy. But when your punya karma, your pious deeds are destroyed, then all these will disappear for you. So that's why it's Rajputra, O Prince, may you live long. But Hunter, Biado, Majiva Mamara. Oh, Hunter. Hunter, you. Biado means a hunter, the person who kills animals. For you to die and live is same. For you to live and die is same because you give so much suffering to others. So what is the benefit of your living? Your life is useless. Wait. Sad. Sad. For the sadhu says, by seeing our renunciation. Looks like until when you stay in this world, your bhajan is already done. Until when you do this renunciation by seeing you, my heart melts. That's why. So you can just go to a spiritual world, but until you stay in this material world, dosadu, you're just making mercy to everyone, giving mercy to everyone. So that demon, 
What name? What's his name? Mur Nemo. Dem Dima. And so to Shiva, I want the benediction of immortality. Shiva just said. The mood also asked, I don't want even that Vishnu cannot kill me. I want the Vishnu cannot kill me. He will not be able to kill me. Then, Shivaji said, Look, those taking birth in this world will certainly they will die. The Jeevas will take birth in this world. The death is certain. But he said, but I don't want to die in the hands of Vishnu. So Shiva said, so this Murdvaita, this demon, he was very powerful. He started giving disturbance to all the living entities. And Brahma and demigods, when they saw the situation, they prayed to Bhagavan Vishnu. Prabhu, please protect the creation. Otherwise, this murdered way to this demon will destroy everything. At that moment, Bhagavan Vishnu he took many weapons and came to try to kill the Muradvaita. The Muradvaita was running away and also attacking Vishnu and running away, attacking Vishnu. Bhagavan wanted if Sudarshan Chakra cut his head and like just kill him. But because of this benediction that Shiva gave to him, because what happened? Shiva gave the benediction that Vishnu could not kill, could not kill the Mura. So to honor also this benediction of Mura, Deita, oh sorry, benediction of Shiva, Vishnu did not like kill him, just like beat, beat, and then the other run away, then beat more. Okay, okay, I cannot kill you, but the Vishnu was like beating so much Mura Deita, and then Mura Deita was running away, and then again Vishnu beat him so much, and then Mura Deita runs away like this. Because Shiva gave the benediction to him that Vishnu could not kill him. So the Muradaita again and again he was. Attacking Vishnu and then Vishnu beating him and then he's running away and then again they're attacking like this. At one time Vishnu beat it so much in Muradaita, Muradaita ran away. So Vishnu went to one cave in the mountain and he was taking rest. To Jogamaya. Bhagavan was taking rest. Then Muradita thought, oh, Bhagavan is sleeping. I can defeat him now. Attack him now. So thinking like this, Muradita, he tried to attack Vishnu and he was sleeping. When Vishnu was sleeping. Then at that moment, from the body of Vishnu, a divine lady manifested. And she manifested and she fought against Muradvita, this lady. A strong fight, like very hard one. And then after that, she cut the body of Muradvita into many pieces. Then after this, Vishnu woke up from his sleepless, from his yoga nidra. Vishnu saw that the body of this Muradvita was scattered in pieces all over the place. So Bhagavan is thinking, who killed the Muradvita? And then he saw, nearby, there was a beautiful lady with folded hands. Like standing near Bhagavan, near him. So Vishnu told, Who killed this the demon? She said, Prabhu, your, your servant. And then Bhagavan was happy. And he said, Ask for a blessing. 
Sister Prabhuji, if you want to give me a blessing, so give me the following blessing that I may be people of the world just like you. Bhagavan said, okay, I'll give you this benediction. So from now on, your name will be Ekadashi Titi. So this Ekadashi is my own form, my Swarup, Krishna said. Vision. So from now on, you will be known by Ekadashi and everyone will honor you like this and respect you. Observe your glories. So I can see the Titi. He directed the Shakti Swarup, the form of Lord. If you follow Ekadasi, all your sins will be destroyed. The very powerful Titi. From all the coins of Titis, the topmost powerful is Ekadasi. That's why Bhaktivinoda Thakur wrote. Everybody should follow Ekadu Siddhi. How? On the day of Ekadashi, you should not take any kinds of grains. Five kinds of grains. You should not give to anyone these grains. You should not eat. Hari Bhakti Vlasa said clearly the day of the country you should not pull out. Don't invite anybody to eat food of grains. No? Everybody should follow. From, from 8 years old until 80 years old. Have to follow. 80. 80. 80. Because up to date, the human being body is terrible. It's like useless body action after 80. Then the person not incur any sin after 80 years old. If the person eats the grains or not, will not give any sin. The Guru Deva also said, those who did from 8 to 80, and they think later he will stop doing. He will continue doing. But if he doesn't do, according to the Jackson of Shasta, he is not committing sin. After 80 years, his body is full of disease and pain. How can... There's a shloka of... Aturi means those who are sick, too much sick. How can he follow the rules? How he can take bath in three times of a day and put tilak and chant the Gayatri, but even without bathing, he can chant Gayatri without taking bath. Not today, I mean, those who are suffering in sickness or something like that. He cannot follow the rules. Also, Prabhasa also. Those who are traveling. Prabhasa means those who are traveling. When they leave their country and they are going to another country, this is called Prabhasa means traveling. So, the Prabhasa also. He cannot follow the rules. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in the passport when you're traveling or you live abroad, you're like Aprabasi Bharati, an Indian living abroad. So in your passport, like if some Indian is living on the continent, he's called Aprabasi. 
Pravasi means those persons who came from foreigner countries or those who live in foreign countries means they're called Prabhasi. So you go, if you go to another country, sometimes it's night, sometimes it's day, you cannot follow the rules. Today, you can see here, and also that, and also there, also you can start a Kadasi. There is nine o'clock, and here, so, from, so you ate rice all day, then after nine, nine o'clock, you say, nine, nine p.m., you say, oh, now is a Kadasi. Is this possible? Like if you travel, maybe he, the Kadasi there will begin just ne- when you arrive, and so. <laughs> That's why you have to follow the Kadasi according to the to the time zone you are in the. In, in every universe, where the sun rises, tell me. In the south, north, west, or east? East. In the sun rising, east. So the day and night they are counted according to the to the sunrise time. When is the day? When the sun rises, this daytime. And what is night, evening? Huh? When the sun sets. So sometimes if it's giving some some diction this is time like two three hours like when they do the Durga Puja they also do the Sandi Puja means this junction between day and night it's called Sandi Puja Sandi Karna Ah, okay, okay. Oh, okay, push good. Twilight. Twilight, you know twilight? Sunset already, but still there's some light. You know the twilight. Like the anik. How is the time proper time for anik? You should not you should not turn the anik in the sun dictionary the exact time of the sunset, no. You should tell Gaiti Mantra. My Gurudev, sometimes I ask him to. Exactly when the sun sets, we should do the Gayatri. Gurudev said, no. After the sun sets, after one hour maximum after sunset. Otherwise, Otherwise, who will get the fruit of a Gaita Mantra is some bad entity. They will get the fruit of a Gaita Mantra. The rules of the Shastra. What I was saying about... You cannot follow the rules when traveling. Prabhasi? So you see, those who leave their countries and go to other countries, they cannot follow all the rules when we are traveling. Like if you sit in the train and you are looking towards the east to chant your Gayatri, because you should chant towards the east. So early in the morning, Gurudev told you, when you chant the Gayatri Mantra, you have to chant facing the east. Your face should be facing east. But you're sitting in the train, but the train is like going curved many ways. And also you're like turning inside the train to be able to look towards east. Do you think it's like that? <laughs> Sometimes the train is also going like in a bending ways and like many curves. So. So. When you are traveling, or also, like on the journey up to somewhere. You have you cannot follow the rules. Say, okay, I'll just sit on the train and chant the guide. Just sit on the train and chant the guide, you know. Because you're traveling, you cannot exactly look at the east. So, just to say. 
Also, not everybody has compass to know which which direction is the east, west. Nobody knows. So Shastra says, put the Gurudev picture in front of you, or Takurji picture, and you can do the Gayatri Mantra. No need to see the direction. Also, there's another rule. So I see. This doesn't mean that, okay, I'll travel and not chant the Gayatri Mantra. I didn't say this. Ah, so we're traveling, no need. For three days journey in the train, so not chant the Gayatri Mantra. No, you cannot say that. We have to chant the mantra. Because this rule of chanting the mantra. But if you a little bit not follow the complete rules of how to chant and all. For example, you have to chant Gayatri with Tilak. Mahaprabhu said what? If you chant the Gayatri without the Tilak, you not get the fruit of the Gayatri mantra. Mahaprabhu taught to all his disciples. So he asked Kundavati, did you chant Anik? Devati said yes, but then Mahaprabhu said, you don't have the Tilak. So Mahaprabhu told this Devati, if you chant the Gayatri Mantra without the Tilak, you not get the fruit. So it means you have to put Tilak to chant the Gayatri Mantra. But when you are traveling, how to get the Tilak? Especially when you go to America, they don't, Australia, they don't even allow you to take some earth. Maybe they put you in the jail if you have some earth, you know, some... Say, no, no, this is my tilak, my earth, a big piece of earth, tilak. How to enter in the country with this? <laughs> ah, he has a big piece of tilak, like earth, like this. So I think one devotee was with Gurudev and they caught him. Then they gave a fine to the devotee because of this. hundred dollars fine because he was carrying a piece of tilak to enter Australia. But just the, the tilak was 50 pesos, 50 cents. And they had to pay $100 to pay the fine to bring the tilak. And also, he lost the tilak because they took the tilak, the police. He had to declare, you know. And even if you declare, they maybe take. He's asking, so you cannot take tilak then today? Because it's earth. So how do you have this earth? <laughs> so the rule is there. Also seeds also cannot enter. <laughs> No, what is it? Bengali, he doesn't understand us. So we better should follow Kadashit. Even Shambhu is asking what he's saying. He's saying that he went to Bangladesh. And they didn't allow them to bring also some earth. Maybe he bought a big, big amount of earth. Half kilo of earth. They didn't allow him to enter Bangladesh. <laughs> so, so I was saying also if you go to Australia. There was a devotee with me to go into Australia. He had a tilak. Oh, these are tilak. Hey. <laughs> they gave a fine of $100 to this devotee and also took the tilak with them, the police. Because they're rules, you know, of the country. A multa, this is cem dólares, multa, cem dólares. Ainda pegaram a tila que não deixaram de entrar para tila. Because inside the earth, maybe some, some insects, some bacteria there, and maybe can, you know, contaminate the crops of that country. The America, New Zealand, and Australia, they have many restrictions. So now in a country should not eat five kinds of grains. What are the five kinds of grains? So, so, so a bajra is a panso in Portuguese, millet, millet, rice, wheat, 
Master Singh, Bowerly, and also not give to anyone. On the day of Ekadashi, you, you, you take the fruit without saying anything. Don't call anyone to take the fruit on Ekadashi. Like, just eat yourself. Okay, in the next day, you say, okay, everybody, Mahaprasad, I'm not going there. In the second day, in the Dwarashi, you will say, oh, Mahaprasad, but in the day of Ekadashi. So, not even play the bell in the day of Ekadashi. It's only for those who cannot stay without the fasting. Why the follow hard the arranging of the food of Ekadashi uh, fruits? For old people or for those who, like, who cannot do the. For the old. For the rogi means I'm sick, young people, very thin, very. Um, uh, yeah, boys and like children and also old. You are which kind of this? So that's why I should not make alarm. Just eat. Shut. You know, like don't say anything, just eat. Not calling everyone and make a big alarm, you know. So, we can't say Prasad is not Mahaprasad, we should actually give them Mahaprasad Jai. <laughs> so, we should not sing the Mahaprasad Kitten in the Kalashi, but then Salamad Maharaj is saying this some different, like chanting some words in the Kitten. Cannot say Soprasad on the Labai, they are asking. But this Kalashi Prasad is not Anna. Should not eat the rice. So I have to follow the rules of Ikhara. Mother Lu himself, when he was staying in Jagannath Puri, he showed the glories also. So I'm sorry, the Brahmans were saying, until nowadays they say, this Martha Brahmanas, this Martha Brahmanas they say, even until nowadays. What? What did you say? Think what? Anyway, they have to sell the, the rice in the market of Jagannathapuri. So, the Brahmanas, they wanted to make Mahaprabhu take Mahaprasad on the day of Ekadashi. Because the Brahmanas, the Brahmanas, they sell the Mahaprasad with grains, and always. So, on the day of Ekadashi, nobody was buying, you know, so they wanted to make, they're losing their business. So Mahaprabhu was there and Shastra says, especially the Jagannath Prashada, you should eat directly. With Jagannath Prashada, you should not see time, place, and circumstance. Jagannath Mahaprasada comes, you just should eat at that time, at that same time. This is the speciality of Mahaprasada of Jagannath. Other Prashada is okay, you can honor and later, but Jagannath Prashada, just when you get, you have to honor it. But it was the day of Ekadashi. So the Brahmanas, they, they made a very beautiful plate of rice, dal, everything, and brought to Mahaprabhu. They want Mahaprabhu to take prasad. But Mahaprabhu is nothing less. Now he's saying Jagannath, very clever. Jagannath is that Brahman, like the transcendental wood. Mahaprabhu is also Bhagavan. So Mahaprabhu was very happy and he said, Oh, Jagannatha came to us in form of Prasad. Let's take Prasad. He called all the devotees, Come, come, let's all take Mahaprasad. The devotees are like, Oh, Mahaprabhu, take Mahaprasad of grace. Mahaprabhu. And the pandas were like, Oh, Mahaprabhu would take. The rice and dal of Jagannath today. Mahaprabhu, what did he do? He said, okay, but before take Mahaprasad, you have to give jai to Mahaprasad. Stavastutis also. Parikrama, Prasad. Then you can take Mahaprasad. I'll just take like this. So, okay, put the Mahaprasad in the middle. So, Mahaprabhu, if all the devotees. Okay, let's give the jai to Mahaprasad first. What is the rule of the Shastra? Before taking Mahaprasad, you have to give the jai to Mahaprasad. Mahaprasad of Govindya, Namramani, Vaishnav. Krishna,
So we have to give the joy of the words of the Prashad before taking. So Mahaprabhu was saying, Jagannatha himself came to us. So let's glorify, you know. So Mahaprabhu started this kirtan. So Mahaprabhu eyes shut, he started doing the kitten. They also smart about is looking. When will he take prashad? They are looking. If Mahaprabhu takes prashad, then all devotees will take. So Mahaprabhu all night, he didn't stop the kitten, Mahaprabhu all night. He said, no, Manga, directly Bhagavan came here, Mahaprabhu said. So let's continue the kirtan and then doing so much kirtan. Doing the kirtan all night passed by. And after, after that came time of Brahmahurta, Mahaprabhu said, okay, now Brahmahurta, let's take shower. Okay, let's all in the ocean take shower. They went, then Mahaprabhu started the Gaitri Mantra. Mahaprabhu knows everything. Then when there was time of Paran, everybody follows Ekadashi. But in the second day, next day, we have to give attention, attention to the Paran time. Many people, they don't give attention to the Paran. So Haribhakti Vila says, those who don't follow the Paran, break the Ekadashi in the proper time. They don't get the fruit of following the Ekadashi Vrat. They get some, they get some sukriti. Maharaj said, no. <laughs> then Prabhu is saying, but so many people, they don't follow the parents. So many people, they don't follow parents. Look, they don't follow. But it's not proper. Ambarish Maharaj and, and Durvasa, whatever the fight that happened between them, why the fight happens? Because of the time of the Paran. The Pandits, they don't give too much attention to this. The glory of the Paran. Okay, you did your vow. But in the next day, you have the proper time to break the vow, the Paran. Bhagavata is saying this in the story of Ambarish Maharaj. Nothing else. Amarish Maharaj, in the next day, he did the Mahadala Sivrat, but in the next day, is Trayodashi. So, the time of the big break the vow, the pattern, was very, very small. From the sunrise until just some more time. From sunrise up. Sometimes this is the then sunrise to such time you can break. Okay, those some Muslims they follow the Indian time. Okay, you're doing your vow. Okay, whole day you're doing the vow. You're fasting. But you have to break the vow. This I also make this question. I think we we're speaking about those with Westerners who follow the to follow the Indian time of the Kadashi, you know? But you have to, will have to break the rule of the Kadashi, oh, of the Fichasra, because if, if you follow the Kadashi according to India, but the time of Big Day Kadashi is after sun, sunrise until such time, no? The pattern. So which time you follow, you break your pattern? Indian time? But the sunrise in your country is different time. This is Guru Devi saying. But there's... Guru Dev said, if you follow Sambhashana, I'm not making offense, but still, um, the time to make the pattern. You have to break the vow according to the pattern. 
For example, after sunrise, after one hour, we have to. There's some time you have to break the vow. If you, okay, if you follow the cards according to India, but you're in the United States of America, here is day, and there is like midnight. So how can you follow the pattern? Okay, you do the cards according to Indian time, but how do you break the cards according to Indian time? Tell. Me. You have to do the pattern. You have to pattern. How you make the pattern then? Because the pattern is, everything depends on the sunrise, the pattern time. So you can ask these people. Those people who are from. Okay, I'm just asking this person. When you do the pattern? Okay, you're in America, United States, and you do a cadence according to India. But according to India, the time of pattern is sunrise until such time. After sunrise, generally the pattern is like after sunrise until such time. So will you do the pattern night time? Because in your country the sunrise in India is night time in your country. Upara, upara, the time of pattern depends on the sunrise, you know. It's some mathematical equations for the pattern time. Maharaj knows this and he does these calculations. So how do you do that? If the sun is not rising, and but if the sun rises another another day in your country or in India. So I want to say is Sumat Bhagavatam, whatever happened between Barish and Devasa, it was not because of Ekadashi. All was because of which rule? The Paran rule. So people, they read only this. They read the story of Ambarish and Durvasa, but they are not giving attention to the reason of their fight. They are not giving attention to the reason of the fight. Okay, let's follow the Kadashi. To see the rule. So some people, they don't follow properly and they preach wrong. Very sad thing this, very sad. No. You have to follow properly. According to the sit down. So there was one person, the topmost dear Gurudev, very dear to Gurudev, everybody knows. Okay, if you're following this person, okay, I'm not pro giving obstacle to you to follow this person. I'm, what else can I say? Leave the way Lord wants to keep you. Like, everything's the desire of Lord. What? Leave the way Lord wants to keep you. So, all the fight between Ambarish and Darvasa was because of this pattern time. All you know the Hikata. All knows about offenses. Not so. So you should follow the rules. That's why Mahaprabhu shows. After the sunrise, Mahaprabhu, he went for snana, showering the ocean, bathing the ocean. Then Mahaprabhu sent his guide in mantra. And then after that, Mahaprabhu himself. He said, okay, this time after sunrise, you have such time, you have to do the part. The Mahaprabhu himself, he took that prasad and also gave to the devotees. So Mahaprabhu is giving teaching to us in this life. In any condition, circumstance, you should not take uh, grains in the day of the Kadash. If you prasad of Jagannath, okay, you give honor in the next day. You keep of honor to the next day. Not to break the rules. Mm -hmm. 
So according to the time, you have to break the vows according to the time. Otherwise, you not get the fruit. Okay.